What is going on here? Hi and welcome back to the Spanless Gamer where we're playing Atari 2600 games in the order they came out and today we're playing three games. We're playing Space Shuttle, A Journey into Space, uh, Space Master X7, and Spider Fighter. So our first game is Space Shuttle, A Journey into Space, which came out in 1983. And the box art looks like this. It's an Activision title. We just got a picture of the Space Shuttle. Uh, just a generic Space Shuttle. It doesn't say which one it actually was. Back of the box, in America... We have a word for this kind of thing. Ingenuity. Raw. Relentless. Fly to the moon. Inventiveness. If built, uh, it built America's Space Shuttle, it also, by the way, had a lot to do with building this one. Might we say a triumph of software engineering? Indeed. Before you lies a marvelous opportunity to pilot extremely authentic shuttle mission. Sound and graphics explode off the screen with all the fire and fury of a real Cape Canaveral liftoff. Blast away solid rocket boosters, open cargo bay doors, master orbital mechanics, and rendezvous with elusive satellites. Finally, perform a precision deorbit burn with superheated gases brilliantly flashing outside the window, surrounded by sonic booms, breakthrough atmosphere, and land. It is a fight that will call upon all your skills, your inner strength, and your mind. Join the journey and discover your own ingenuity along the way. Made by Steve Kitchen. All right, so let's get right into the game. This is Space Shuttle. And I know this game was very complicated, and I think you had to use, like, the switches on the system and stuff, so I don't think we're going to get very far in it, if anywhere. Nothing seems to happen. We have no sound. Uh, pushing start just resets. Oh. I got, I got that to happen. Yeah, um... Oh, wait. We have... Liftoff? Maybe? Things happening? Okay. And... That happened? Okay. Um... Uh, that, that happened again. It moved to the right, and altitude is 16. And fuel. Good on fuel. Oh, we're in space. We successfully beat this game. Um, okay. And it appears to be looking at uh, a window that is shaped like a butt, maybe? I don't know what any of this means. Except fuel. I know what fuel means. We're good there. Appear to be slowly moving into space. Look at that. Altitude still climbing. Uh, okay. Uh, well, the C and T meters sure keep moving. What is happening? What is going on here? Oh. Oh, now I'm controlling it. There's that satellite, I assume. Let's line up with it. Alright, fire thrust thrusters. Z-axis, Z-axis, three, two, what, what? Uh, okay. Well, this is sure fun. Boy. 
boy, have I seen enough of that. Uh, graphics. Graphics. Um, it, they got a lot of information on the screen. Give them credit for that. Seven. Sound. I mean, how much sound can there be? It just sounds like you're in a big spaceship, I guess. But it works. So five. There was no music. Story. Um, there really isn't a story. Uh, zero there. Controls. Controls seem fine. They're just complicated, and I'm sure I don't know what I'm doing. I'll give it a five. Funness. Uh, for the certain kind of person, this could be pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to give it a three and a half. Does it hold my attention? Um, a three. Maybe I kind of want to know a little bit more how to do things. And overall, Space Shuttle, a journey into space, is going to get a four and a half. Let's move on to the next one. Our next game is Space Master X7, which came out in 1983, of course, and the box art. Um, one player using left joystick, though. Well, you sold me. And we got a pilot there. He's got a little meatball shooting at him from behind. Centuries ago, Hyperion military base was established halfway through the galaxy's own known express route. All ships using this route were forced to stop and pay a very high penalty or toll. Penalty for non-payment, instant death. All attempts to destroy the base and stop this ancient injustice have met with dismal failure. You have calculated that Space Master X7 is playable by one person using the left joystick. Have I, though? Have I? So this game um, is also released as Alpha Shield for the Atari 800, but this game uh, was not designed to be based on a movie, but uh, Fox thought it was wise to put... Space Master X7, which was a movie that came out in 1958, onto this title because the kids in 1983 were all about movies from 1958. Uh, we've seen this before. Fox had some uh, incredible journey or whatever it was, uh, like Keystone Capers, like based on Keystone Cops. Like they were releasing a lot of weird games based on movies from like the 50s and before that. Like why? I don't know. Anyway, let's play the game. Alright, I'm the little asterisk or cat butthole there in the bottom right. And apparently I gotta avoid the lines. Oh, I gotta avoid that thing too. So what's the point? I don't know. Okay. Think I can do better. There we go. Alright, so I'm the asterisk. And I have to avoid basically everything on the screen and shoot the thing in the middle and then you move on. Yeah, that, that's the plot. That seems easy enough. And you can stop and shoot. You can't shoot and move at the same time. Fair enough. I'm stuck over here. Again, we're the best. Well, it just seems to be the same thing over and over again. Graphics, uh, they're just kind of lines and colors. Not much going on there. We'll give it a four. Sound, we'll give it a six and a half. The sound was pretty decent. Really was no music. Um, story, based on a 1958 film, sure. Give you a two. Controls were decent. It'd be nice if you could move and shoot at the same time, though. So we'll give that a five. Funness, uh, four, it was kind of fun, but it just gets repetitive because it's the same thing over and over again. Doesn't hold my attention. Uh, a three, and overall we're going to give it a four. And that was Space Master X7. Let's move on to the next one. All right, our final game today is called Spider Fighter, which came in 1983 in the box art here. Uh, Spider Fighter video game cartridge, uh, typical Activision cartridge or box. And we just got kind of a goofy drawing of spiders and strawberry and rainbows spider fighter conceived and designed by larry miller for one spider fighter at a time now don't get itchy but there are bugs in this box lots and lots of creepy crawly pesky spiders i'm i'm good and they want your fruit your plump grapes juicy oranges picture perfect strawberries and oh my gosh there goes your bananas they've got it you've got to stop them got to stomp them got to smite them got to fight them with all your might because if you don't they just won't get your fruit uh they'll get you Spider Fighter, no joke, no picnic, a real knockdown drag out spider fight from Activision. I am my own spider fighter, but he's sleeping right now, so I don't know how good he's going to help us. Uh, but let's play the game. 
Spider Fighter, copyright 1983. Alright, it's a fixed shooter type game. The bullets move with your ship. It's always a little bit of a struggle for me. I prefer if they don't, I'm just used to that. Uh, look at that stupid spider. Yeah, okay. Calm down, spider. Get him! Alright. We did it! And... New kinds of spiders. I mean, it's a very competent fixed shooter. It doesn't seem to bring anything new to the table. Um, Demon Attack was uh, probably a better fixed shooter game that had come out recently. It's not bad. I mean, it's made by Activision, so, you know, it's competent. It's not like that game Sorcerer we played, where obviously made by a first time programmer. For a company who just wanted to make a quick buck. Weaker Activision title, but still good compared to some crap we played. All right, get him. And more of the same. Okay, that's kind of what we expect. Graphics, graphics are decent. We'll give them a five and a half. Sound is. Decent. We'll give that a five and a half. Oops. Give that a five and a half as well. There is no. Well, there is a. I don't know if that really counts as music, but we'll give it a one. Uh, story. There are bugs in the box of the game you bought, and now you have to kill them. I guess that's a one. Sure. Controls. Um, controls are fine. Six. Funness. Eh, we'll give that a five. Does it hold my attention? Uh, a three. There are better fixed shooters to play. But overall, Spider Fighter is going to get a 5. That's it. Please like, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, and we'll see you next game.